Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo guide on how to farm for the hung jury in Destiny 2 season of the Splicer. So as you can see, I'm running Nightwatch, I'm running Palindrome, mine is the Adept, you don't have to use the Adept, and I am running Anarchy, but that will all become uh, apparent as the video goes on why I've chose to run that. One Hush Crown for dodging and getting my shield back. These are some of the mods I'm using, so obviously overload, there's Overload and Barrier, so I've got Overload, Hand Cannon, Barrier, Scout Rifle. I've went with Sniper Damage Resist because, well, there's a lot of snipers in here, and I chose Arc because there's a lot of Arc. Powerful Friends get the plus 20 mobility, Scavengers, very basic stuff, but this, this perk is why I use the Anarchy. When using a grenade launcher, damaging a boss, damaging a champion, or breaking a combatant shield, reload your stored weapons and causes the combatant to take increased damage for a short period of time. Basically, Sunder and Glare for grenade launchers, and the Anarchy really eats this up. So as you can see here, these are two hung juries that I got in previous runs. I didn't get one in this run, but they are two, two that I've had doing, this, doing these runs. So... Drop rate in legendary legend is about 40-50%, something like that. So I, I didn't do too many without getting one. So I decided to make a guide on it for you guys, and maybe this can help you guys get your hung jury. I am enjoying Season of the Splicer immensely. Uh, I will be starting to stream again on Sunday. This is... I'm recording this, this is Wednesday, so if you guys are interested in coming over and checking out the stream, a stream on YouTube, I will leave a link in the description to the streaming channel, which isn't this channel. I don't really want to get them confused in the algorithm, so hopefully I'll see some of you guys there. This, this Nightfall, it's, it's actually not too bad, it was really easy last season because we had Sniper Anti-Barrier, which gave you the choice of having a primary or energy and a heavy high DPS weapon. This season we don't have that, so we're having to do a scout rifle, which isn't a major problem. Nightwatch puts in a lot of work, so the first first little thing I will say is as soon as you see the ship, if you shoot at the ship, the, the, the guns will become available to be, to be basically shot off. So what I do it is I, I shoot them straight away and then I just put down anarchy traps, try and trap as many of these ads to start with, just to get us... I wanted to see how close I could get to the 100k. Now, the 100k is more than... You can, you can get this in the legend, no problem, but as a solo, safely, it's, it's a little bit difficult, especially maybe with the weapons I was using. But I, I feel like these, these weapons are really strong for this. So... As soon as the ads came in, they landed in the traps. I took out, took out two waves, I think. When you get to about 31%, something like that, as you can see, I'm getting the Marauders. It's the Marauders I'm looking for, those resilient Marauders, because solar damage is increased in here, and those Marauders do solar damage. So I, I really didn't want them running about. They can be quite difficult to spot against the backdrop. Uh, during one of the waves, I will back away a little bit. This uh, this drag should be given strafing lessons to some people in Crucible. So, when you get to about 32%, 31%, you're going to get your overload. Now, in this run, in the first runs, you are going to get overload at the start in this wave. See the 33% it is. Uh, you're going to get overload. You're going to get, in this wave, you get an overload. Then you get a barrier. In the next wave, now you can see here. You see, it looks like he's been he's burning, and that is basically, as I said before, it's like sunder and glare for grenade launchers. You hit a champion with a grenade launcher, uh, it, it basically weakens them. Now, what I haven't tested is whether it weakens for your fire team or whether it's just you that gets that damage increase. Now, you'll see here. Even though I missed that ad with the Anarchy, the fact that I fired one was enough for him to cower and just stay there and, and allow me to to basically melt him. So, what I do here is, obviously we've took out the first wave. So this next wave we're going to get some snipers to start with. Uh, elite dregs and normal dregs. But we're also going to get a barrier eventually. So, 
everything leads up to the barrier so you can see here i just went after the the guns pretty pretty aggressively started firing at the first ship as soon as i could and it's 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 maybe just just three or four shots more than a full clip to take out a gun the first ads that really are going to cause you any grief here are these snipers because obviously they're snipers so it's going to hurt so i put i put a precautionary uh, anarchy down so that, that captain thinks twice about pushing me when i'm taking out the snipers now that i've took out the snipers the guns have been taken out right at the start here i have no long range ads that are going to give me any trouble so i just want to break this guy's shield you can see there he's he's elite i hit him he took it additional damage and i'm not sure if that's because he was a shielded enemy gonna take out these elites and these dregs kind of kind of around here i'm not really gonna progress the wasat any further if i can help it until i clear these ads now yes my palindrome really helped you'll notice uh i've got adept big ones on my palindrome it's just always on them on my uh on my adept palindrome but you will see quite a few times where, where it's the scout rifle that takes all these guys out got major spec on my scout rifle obviously for increased damage against champions major spec as is the as the damage mod that works with champions so i'm just kind of feathering these out just want to get rid of these before i get on to the warsat i and i believe he's the, he was the last one kind of around there as soon as you take him out you get your next wave there's only three two i think two resilient uh, vandals and uh I'm glad that they've changed the name of them, actually, because I used to get really confused on what was a major, what was an elite. Uh, so now it, it, seem, it seems like these dregs, they've just they've just called them resilient. Same as the marauders. The marauders are resilient. And the marauders most definitely are resilient. So I'm just checking because I can see a bit of red on the map. I'm un I was unsure whether that was the ships, but it, it turned out it was. So come back into position. The next, as we're going to get, we're going to get the barrier. So I wanted to try and take the barrier quickly. It turned out I couldn't do that because these ads just really aggressively pushed me. Now that's where your dodge is going to come in. Wormhurst Crown, obviously, I've got, I think, eight, eight uh, mobility. So I get a dodge back every 14 seconds or something. Now you'll see here with this champion, that is proper meltage on a champion. It's just, it's, it's going it, to, it's a top tier for me. Uh, because I don't cheese the Telesto. <coughs> Crucible players. Uh, I can't really say that because the Telesto has literally been cheese on toast since Destiny 2 has come out. Uh, this is going to be, for me, one of the top tier uh, mods. It was the first mod that I looked at in, in the artifact and I thought, hmm, the permutations for that, for a lot of things... I mean, take advantage of it while it's here because it'll be gone. You know, obviously when the, the artifact changes, it'll be gone. For people that don't have the Anarchy, I mean, I don't know what to say. If you're a new player just coming into the game, then, you know, there will be ways to get it. Raiding is always going to be a thing. Uh, obviously, there are other grenade launchers you can use. I'm not sure how strong the colony would be against champions i can't see it not being strong you just maybe go through a bit more ammunition but uh it, uh, it works for all grenade launchers so it, it, if you don't have it but you've been playing destiny for a while i have released a couple of videos showing people how to get it solo you could have had it very easily solo maybe two or three months ago if you if you'd have followed the video but if you haven't Colony, as I say, Colony could do the job. Now I fired my my uh, I fired my my tether here, and I managed to take out the champion. And then I just backed away a little bit, tried to get eyes on, and just tried to do the shared damage thing with the tether, uh, and hopefully taking out some enemies. The tether would have took out other ones, but it turned out it didn't work like that. I actually ended up having to kill all of these, but cool thing is, most of them were marked. So, straight away, I you can see there on the right-hand side, just put an anarchy down there, and one there, and get rid of them. 
I, I did spam anarchy at this first pit uh, a bit. Very simply because I know I've got tons of tons of heavy down by the warsat. So as I say, I'm, I'm not I'm not saying that thing. And if you don't have the anarchy, you know it's your fault. Whatever. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I chose for the first kind of farm video to use the best weapons I had available. Uh, and the anarchy is most definitely for that mod. The anarchy is is top tier. I mean, as I say, salvages salvo, empty vessel, the season of splicer. Uh, Grenade launcher, which the name actually escapes me. I can't remember what it's called. I have one. But I can't remember what it's called. Uh, they, they're all going to benefit from that. You see, there I was. I got into position, and basically, I wanted to hunt down that that last marauder. Now I'm anticipating because I haven't hit ninety percent yet. I'm anticipating another wave of ads. So I'm just gonna. I'm, w I'm using an excessive amount here, simply because I can see all those bricks. So I know, I know I'm going to get a lot more, uh, I'm going to be able to refill, you see there, just wipe them all out. Uh, the ignition code, that's that's the grenade launcher I couldn't remember from Season of Splice. So they'll all work with this, you know, you, you don't have to rely on, on the anarchy, but you will see in here... What the anarchy does to the boss is kind of criminal. It is kind of criminal what the the anarchy does to the boss. But as I say, that's the first section we got through there in about ten minutes. Uh, it was safe. It's repeatable. I, I do take a few chances later on just because I want. I was testing out the hundred k solo hundred k run. I got really close. Uh, maybe I could have got it. I maybe because as I say, you know. It's it this this isn't about the hundred K as much as it's about uh about farming for for the the hung jury. So when you come into this room, the exploders are the key. Once you get rid of the exploders, that's when you get a lot more of these uh, marauders. We're we're anticipating getting pushed. If you get pushed and you you get caught off guard a little bit. Right behind you, on this kind of... You'll see in a minute, there's going to be a couple of invises that are going to come in. Not him. There's going to be a couple more that are going to come in from there. I'm just going to put a couple of traps out here. See if I can... If I can get some of those uh, resilient enemies. You can see there, I've got a few. Uh, when they when they push in here, if they do push in, you can see that the... I couldn't take, there's an overload there, I couldn't take the overload because he was being shielded. Now you see there, I'm going to jump over this guy, this is your safe zone. You'll see even just at the top of those stairs, they won't push you. This is where you're safe. So if you ever get in trouble, just go down there. I always come in here, if you don't take the exploders before you come in here, the exploders will come after you in here. Be careful for the resilience, they they will melt you. There, There is no two ways about it. Now... What happened here, you'll see here. So, I stopped him. And then the minute I went to do damage, the, the, the server I blocked him. So, what I'm going to do is go all the way to the back. Kind of safe here with just w what's out here at the moment. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to bide my time. L lucky, unlucky for me that uh, the server are... The server I moved the minute I threw my grenade... So, what I want is to break this server shield, dodge to go invis, and put a couple of anarchy on. Just get out of the the main. Server is gone. Now we get, we, we're going to get a few more ads, snipers, and we've got obviously, we still have an overload up, so we're going to try and stop this overload. You see there we have, and I put two on and one on the ground. And then just keep firing at them. And as you'll see here, it's gone. Now, what I've noticed is, I, to start with, I was going after them with the scout rifle. And I think I think we've got the same thing as we've had last season, the season before. When you do damage with an anti-overload an anti weapon, see here? 
he, he never got a chance to regenerate because I kept shooting him with the hand cannon. If you switch weapon to another primary, it, it doesn't seem to have the same effect. So I 100% would, once you put a bit of damage onto onto the, the boss, onto the champion, go after him. Once you put the anarchy on him or whatever heavy, if you're using an area of effect weapon, maybe even... You know, with that mod, maybe even the exotic primary grenade launcher, uh, which, again, name has escaped me. Uh, maybe that the area of effect that it does would, would work perfect as well. So, as you can see there, once I opened the, 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 the shaft, the, the vent, the cooling vent, uh, you get a whole bunch of marauders, uh, resilient marauders. So, I was prepared for them. I threw my grenade and just put a couple of anarchy and just melted them all you've got left now is two elite snipers once you take them out then we're, we're through to the, the what i call the arc tunnel and this can be annoying the arc tunnel can be annoying but uh the weather horde is the exotic grenade launcher i was trying to think of that the name escaped me because it, Again, cheap weapon, so I, I've never really used it too much, you know. Uh, I'm just having a little look around for ammunition because, yes, the, for, for those kind of clutch moments, those critical moments, the Anarchy is going to be your best friend. It just does so much damage. And that mod, it's it was pretty good before, but it was, it was, it was one of those weapons that the thing I loved about it and, and, you know, I don't feature it in videos very often because people moan when I do. But uh, I use it quite a bit when I'm not making videos because it just allows you to put damage onto an, a, an adversary, an adversary. And it allows you to put damage on and, and just keep, keep a steady flow of damage on whilst you're using something else. And it's just top tier for that. Took a chance here... Now, what's going to happen here is, uh, as you'll see here, if you slide, you you keep up a momentum. What happened here was an exploder came, so what i done was, I knew I was getting burnt, so I dodged. And when I dodged, I got my health back, which saved me, but also helped me go invis. So I'm just taking out these ads. Make sure you don't allow the, the orb to disappear. I've got my invis back, I've dodged, went invis, and picked the orb up all at the same time, and then just run over here, crouch down the ads, they don't really pay attention to you. So remember you've got that dodge invis, especially, you know, because we're on top tree uh, tether. We've got that dodge invis, and I dodged, went invis, uh, went round to the right, waited for, to get my dodge back, and then just dodged invis. Be careful, time, time you're running, time you're running through there with the electricity. Now, there's a lot going on in this room. You've, you've got shanks, you've got exploder shanks, you've got dregs, you've got an overload, you've got uh, resilient marauders, resilient vandals, exploders, tons of stuff. Your best bet in this room is to just try and take out the most dangerous enemies first. You see here, I wasn't actually sure I'd stopped that champion, so I could have killed him there. And what happened is I get the stop on them, and then for anybody that's been following the channel for some time, you will know that for some reason, it happens so often that I go to pull out my heavy, and invariably end up with my special in my hand, or my primary. So, what I done was I just reset, just completely gave up on the champion, taking out the ads that are, that are kind of around... The ones that are putting the heavy fire on me, just reset and hopefully leave myself uh, with uh, just just a barrier champion and an overload. I will obviously have uh, two arc captains, so I've managed to hit this champion up here. I managed to hit him with. Uh, with some anarchy. Now I'm trying. This is the chance that I took. Now I thought I'd be able to kill that boss, and then 
decided it was there was too much going on. I just came back in and then f decided I was going to focus on the Marauders. Try and clear a path where I could take out the champions very easily. So we'll go for the, the barrier first. So I've got one on. And I put another one which bounced off. But unfortunately for the barrier, chained to the one I'd already put on. So the minute I took the shield down, you see the melt. So I'm going to stop this guy. Crit stop. I'm using, obviously I'm using unstoppable hand cannon, uh, overload hand cannon. Crit stop these champions faster. Now you can see I kind of lucked out a little bit there because the, the captain ran straight into the anarchy, which kind of helped do damage. And, and another kind of thing about the anarchy is when you fire the anarchy, if you're firing it's an enemy with a shield, then it will just bounce off the shield. So you have to actually fire it at the ground and kind of hope to get a little bit of an area of effect damage and that will break the shield. So I'm just going to make sure I pick up all my ammo. I want full ammo going into the boss room. We still have got a room before we get to the boss room, but I want full ammo before we get in there. Now, when you get in here, you're going to be faced straight away with a barrier. That's going to be because it's going to shield the sniper, shield the edge, you can see here. So, managed to get two on, which puts the melt on straight away. The bar is going to put his shield up, break it, he's dead. And sometimes you can get lucky with with uh, additional damage. You can take some of these ads out afterwards if, if, if they go close. Close enough to your uh, anarchy bolts. And you can see here, the scout rifle does really good damage. So I'm just kind of leaning away. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these little red ads. And then what I'm going to do is tether. And then use the tether and the damage stopping a champion to basically share the damage and take out all the littler ads. Now, just a word about Hung Jury. I haven't actually used it yet, but I've heard a lot of really negative things about it. Hung Jury is, as most of you know, it's Destiny 1. Kind of, there's a lot of people that have got a lot of fond feelings about about uh, the hung jury. I'm not sure it's going to be top tier, but I definitely think it's going to be half decent. It's 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 a bit of a laser. From what I've heard, it's it's not as good as the the night watch. It's a 180 as as we know. Uh, rapid explosive rounds is the the role that I'll be looking for. But I would take Firefly because it's kind of strange. Firefly wasn't in Destiny 2. It's a Destiny 1 perk. Now, I thought we got Dragonfly, which was they just gave it a different name. But obviously, those two perks are different since they're both in the season pass as separate perks. So, it'll be interesting to see what Drag Firefly actually does, whether it's an increased version of of uh, Dragonfly, uh, uh, the Destiny 2, ex you know, area of effect explosion perk, which... As we know as Dragonfly. So when you get into this room, you're going to have uh, a server at a right, server at a left. The server on the right will spawn first, and then you'll get two shanks. And then the server on the left will, will be there, and you'll get three shanks. So we're going to stay in this area where we are now. Just going to put an anarchy on him just to kind of speed things up. Take out these, and once you take these, you'll see this little box come up out the ground. This is what we're going to use for cover. Now, as soon as the boss comes out, we're going to put two anarchy on him and one on the ground, and it's just going to eat away at him. Now, when he when he's getting it, you'll see I'm putting a bit of damage on him. Look at his health. His health is just disappearing. So what I can do is just put another two on him so I can just forget all about the boss. I'm using this side bit of this box as, as my cover for him because this boss has three forms. The first one is a sniper form. The second one is basically he has a turret. Uh, and the third one is he's just a roaming kind of boss with an electricity kind of attack. But you also get other ads. Each, each version of him has different ads that appear. This version has uh, just normal... For, 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 the, for, for the first phase, you just have normal shanks. And in the second phase, once, obviously, we've got these servitors, which, you know, I'm kind of used to these being champions because I'm used to doing this on Master. 
But uh, so you've got these guys. You've took out all the shanks. There's one left. You see him just above what the boss. The boss is shielded, but the boss can still shoot at you. So you still have to stay in kind of cover. He is in. The boss is in his sniper form. So once you take, you see the light, the the ambience in the room changing once you've took everything out. Now the boss is is is, is back active again. So what I can do is I'm just letting his health go down. Every time you break a health bar, well, the, the first twice you break his health bar, uh, he will then go into uh, his shielded state and you'll get shanks and servitors and whatever. The first time it's just normal shanks. The second time, when we get him into his cocoon state, which he's, he's gone into now, he's still going to get shanks. He's still going to get his normal shanks, but you're going to get two exploders. And you're going to get two snipers. So I was still taking out normal lads. Forgot about the exploders. And this guy gave me a bit of a scare. So I dodged. Obviously got my health back. Two snipers come. The two exploders come from in front of you ground level. The two snipers come from the opening up to our right. So just be aware of those. But what we're, what we're doing now. We've took all the shanks just about. I think all the shanks are down. We just have to take... We just have to take this server. So what we're going to do is, I've put that anarchy on him, and I'm going to move to the left. I know I've got heavy ammo out there. I want that heavy ammo. I don't want to be left in a situation, because at this point, see there, I've got a little bit too close there. I've dodged, went and viz. I don't want to be left in a situation where I might need a bit more uh, anarchy than I've got. Then we move over to this side. And what's the, this is it. This is it. Where you are now, this is where we're going to end the battle. So I'm going to stick one anarchy, just one. I don't really want to melt the boss just yet. See, he's got to, basically, I, I'm, we're into his third health bar now. Now, I probably could have just went after him. But again, I, pr I could have went after him and killed him. I'm trying to show you guys how to do it safely. These exploder shanks, they're going to keep coming for... Uh, just a, a small length of time. There will be a time they will no longer come. Right? And it will basically... You'll know when that's going to happen because it will say uh, that the shank calls reinforcements and nothing happens. No ads come. That's when you're going fa to get get the boss killed. Now, if you're doing this with a buddy or whatever, uh fire team, it's the 100k you're going to get doing this easily. So... uh we're just going to be taking out these exploder shanks, no problem at all. I can see the boss has still got quite a bit of his health bar, so I'm just going to stick another, another cheeky anarchy on him. And just make sure that I'm taking out these exploder shanks. I want the, to get the boss as low as possible. As you can see, we've got my super. I haven't used it. I wanted to keep it for this moment. And as I say, we're just building them up. Sometimes the shanks will go a little bit too close to them, and when you shoot them shoot the shanks, they will deal explosive damage to the boss as well, which is fine because it's 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 minimal. It's it's, it's not going to kill him. It's not going to put him in his final phase. So as I said, the first the first phase and the second phase is his sniper shank. That's his solar shank phase. He is now in his turret phase, which I, that's what I call it, which is void. His final phase is going to be arc. That's his roman phase. Where he's gonna, he is gonna chase you around the map. We're not bored about that because between our tether and our anarchy, he's gonna regret coming after us. So again, I'm just waiting until I see that text come up on the left-hand side of the screen, saying he's called his reinforcements, and nothing's gonna come. Saber two summons reinforcements. And now we have no reinforcements. So there, there is going to be no exploder shank. So as you can see, I've put the two anarchy on them. And then the ones on the the one on the ground, dodge and go and viz and run to the other side. See his health just going and going and going and going. Now he's spotted us again. So I've done it again. I've put two on him. And then I've put one for him to go through as he's chasing me. And that's it. That is it. Now, doing this, I have had... As I showed at the start of the video, I've had a couple of uh, hung juries. You will get hung juries from doing this. The drop rate is between 30 and 
I actually got an empty vessel, which is pretty cool. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this helps you. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, a like would be would be awesome. And don't forget to check out the streaming channel. Take it easy, and I will see you guys in the next video.